Attorneys for the plaintiffs, Jason Abraham of Canadian and Amarillo veterinarian Greg Vinaclausen, said they were delighted with the verdict. Obviously, we're thrilled. I mean, this is a, a, a plaintiff's verdict. We ended up with violation findings on Section 1 and Section 2 of the Sherman Antitrust Act and corresponding sections of the Texas State Antitrust Act. But the plaintiffs were not awarded damages. I'm slightly disappointed that no damages were awarded, but this case was not about damages to the clients, um, to either Greg Vinaclausen or Jason Abraham. They wanted these horses registered, and that was the purpose for filing the lawsuit. Don Treadway, the executive vice president of the American Quarter Horse Association, held a press conference this afternoon and read from a prepared statement and did not take questions. What we now have is a verdict, not an order to register clones. We are meeting with our legal counsel and the AQHA leadership team, that being the officers of the American Quarter Horse Association, regarding our appeal options and continuing to fight for what our members' rights are. The order to register clones could be in the future. The plaintiff attorneys have asked for an injunctive relief hearing for just that purpose. After a good night's sleep, we will draft a, an, a judgment um, pursuant to the court's instruction. Uh, we will get ready for a hearing on our request for injunctive relief and be prepared for that hearing and to establish all of the elements that would um, uh, warrant the court ordering that AQHA register clones in their offspring. Larry Lemons, Pro News 7.